And then finally, let's look at another example. We want to make parallel box plots for the times in minutes for customers wanting to speak to their internet service provider. So what we want to do first of all to make the box plots, we need to order the data from lowest to highest. Okay, so for company A, my lowest here seems to be seven. I have eight, I have 10, Looking through this, looks like we have 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 19, 21, 29, and 32. Okay, so for that one, The min is 7, the maximum is 32, and we have how many observations? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So the median is going to be in between those two observations. So the median is going to be 15.5 for that data, and Q1 is going to be the median of the lower half of the data. So the median here is, uh, the lower half is between 10 and 12. So Q1 is going to be 11, and Q3 is going to be 20, because we're looking at the median of that upper half of the data. OK, so now let's do the same thing for company B. We have 4 for our smallest value. We have a 6 here. Uh, next we have. 12, 13, 16, 16, 18, 22, 22, 25, and 30. And again, because we have 12 observations, Right? Oh, I forgot a 14. My apologies there. So we do have 12 observations. So the middle represents my Q2. Somewhere here is going to be Q1, and somewhere here is going to be Q3. So getting the five number summary for these data, we have the minimums for Q1 is going to be 12.5. Q2 is going to be 16, Q3 is going to be 22, and the maximum is going to be 30. So we're going to make our number line here, which is going to be, let's say, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and 35. Okay, let's do company B first, put that on the bottom. Q1 is actually going to be right about here. Q2, or Q3 is going to be 22, which is about right here. And then Q1, Q2 is going to be right about there. So that's our box, and then we're drawing this out to the minimum. So 4 is maybe about right here, and the maximum which is 30. So this is company B. Company A, I want to make the edges of my box plot again, so 15.5. Well, Q1 is 11, so Q1's maybe about right here. Q3 is 20, which is right here. The median is 15.5, which is about, let's say, right here. The maximum goes out to 32, and the minimum goes to 7. Okay? So looking at this, we have about the similar range, but that interquartile range seems to be smaller times for A. So, you know, the middle 50% of the data seems like you're waiting less time to talk to customer service. So maybe if you're trying to choose between the two, 
you might choose A because it's, you're more consistently going to have a quicker time for waiting.